After a powerful procession to St. Joseph Cathedral and a massive Christian burial inside, Engine 2 carried Jason Arno one final time to Forest Lawn Cemetery. Through tributes and tears, this community honored a life lost too soon. This half hour, we're going to take you live where our Ron Plants talked with folks uh, who came out to view those services. And also our Nate Benson will join us. He's talking with firefighters, many of whom came from out of town who wanted to be here to pay their respects. First, though, two on your sides. Kelly Dudzik joins us now with some of the memories of those people who talked about Jason Arno Kelly during this really touching funeral earlier today. Yeah, Michael, Jason Arno was remembered this morning as a man who loved his family, loved to cook and loved his community. He was risky, loving, mischievous, compassionate, altruistic, belligerent, thoughtful, kind, the heart of the family, the glue between crowds, the life of the room, the center of gravity. In his 37 years, firefighter Jason Arno made quite the impact. With only about a year separating them, he and his older brother Delton shared a close bond. We were arm in arm staring across the ocean on our backs under the stars, marching to the beat of our own drums. His mood depended entirely on yours, so your happiness came first. My mood depended entirely on his, so I always came with problems I knew he could solve. Becoming a Buffalo firefighter just three years ago, Arno quickly made an impression on his colleagues. He often used his culinary skills to fix his fellow firefighters gourmet meals in the firehouse. Sarah, your husband's life and legacy will never fade from our memory. He was eager to be a good firefighter and jump in and be part of the team. Everywhere he worked, Jay was a valued crew member. Jay loved to cook and he was awesome at it, which works out well because firefighters love to eat. There's truly something special about a sharing a well-cooked meal with your crew at the firehouse. Jay did the little things at the firehouse, which endeared him to his crewmates. He was almost too nice to be a firefighter. I couldn't be more proud. And after my tears are spent and my own memory languishes, I will still know what he did for us. More than anything, I am so thankful. No matter when or how soon he went, I would have always been thankful. And you know, today they said he'd just show up to the firehouse with bags of groceries, but then he'd just drop them off and go out on the first call because they said he, there was no way that he would let his crew go out the door without him, Michael. And we've of course talked so much about this tragedy since it happened. And now though today to get to hear from his brother, to yeah. get to hear from Vincent Ventresca with the union, to get to hear from people who knew him, um, it makes us all understand the loss, I think even more than we did when it right. happened. Right, and how far reaching yeah, it is. Absolutely. Yeah. Almost too nice to be a firefighter. Yep. Kelly, thank you. Sure.